Hi, I'm Mark Schultz. This is Ira Globaceris and Paul Jen, and we're all rising seniors at Reed College. And this is about our work about with developing a framework for rational composition with our advisors, Professors Gross and Zikas. So before we begin with this, I'll remind you all what rational cryptography is. Rational cryptography is kind of a paradigm shift from the traditional semi-honest or malicious cryptographic um, settings. In rational cryptography, we make an assumption that everybody ideally wants to compute some functionality. We don't worry about cases where the NSA might want to be able to break into your bank to give you money or something like that because they don't actually want to do that. We tend to worry about these situations, like I said before. And with that, I'll hand it off to Park Jen. All right, let's learn some history. Um, so the beginnings of cross-pollination between cryptography and game theory can be traced back to DHR 2000. And then that ushered in somewhat of a golden age of lots of research in the area, many papers were published. Um, then things started to slow down a little bit. And though I wasn't around and didn't really know what cryptography was, let alone game theory at the time, some say that a big reason for this was that we didn't really have a composition theorem. So with that, I'll let Ira explain composition. All right, so composition, why do we care? All right, so say you have a game. Now, as anyone who's played Monopoly with a young child knows, this is a very rational game. And uh, players have incentives and they behave really rationally. Uh, now you as a cryptographer, you enjoy Monopoly, but you think that what the board game community is really lacking is a game that also involves cryptocurrency. And uh, on the side, you've been uh, developing a nice little Bitcoin rational protocol. And you'd like to just take this Bitcoin protocol and, you know, plug it into your game. Well, without composition, we absolutely cannot guarantee that this is going to work. Uh, terrible things might happen and the whole thing could break down. So, what we do in our work is in, uh, introduce a composition framework, which we hope can, you know, usher in a lovely renaissance of rational cryptography. So, uh, our result is basically that we introduce a framework and devise conditions under which uh, rational protocols compose, and then we give some protocols that meet those conditions. Namely, we use uh, the secret sharing protocol from Gordon and Katz, and the FAIR MPC protocol of Gross and Katz, and we modify them and uh, uh, develop them in this uh, framework. And so our results should be on ePrint in a few weeks, and please come talk to us for any questions. Thank you.